And COVID is critical because this is what convinces people to accept, to legitimize total biometric surveillance. If we want to stop this epidemic, we need not just to monitor people, we need to monitor what's happening under their skin. What we have seen so far, it's corporations and governments collecting data about where we go, who we meet, what movies we watch. The next phase is the surveillance going under our skin. We now see mass surveillance systems established even in democratic countries, which previously rejected them. And we also see a change in the nature of surveillance. Previously, surveillance was mainly above the skin. Now it's going under the skin. Governments want to know not just where we go or who we meet. Above all, they want to know what is happening under our skin. What's our body temperature? What's our blood pressure? What, what is our medical condition? Now humans are developing even bigger powers than ever before. We are really acquiring divine powers of creation and destruction. We are really upgrading humans into gods. We are acquiring, for instance, the, the power to re-engineer life. Humans are now hackable animals. You know, the, the whole idea that humans have, you know, this, they, they have this soul or spirit and they have free will and nobody knows what's happening inside me. So whatever I choose, whether in the election or whether in the supermarket, this is my free will, that's over. I mean, all this story about Jesus rising from the dead and being the son of God, this is fake news. I know that in recent years, we saw populist politicians undermining deliberately the trust that people have in important institutions like universities, like respectable media outlets. These populist politicians told people that, say, scientists are this small elite, this 